Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's Monday Must Have. So today I do have a first impressions. I haven't tried this yet, but I did find the new um, Real Techniques um, base. This is the Expert Air Cushion Sponge. Um, so I'm going to see if this is any good, if it will help to build up some coverage and all that. So if you'd like to see if this is worth picking up, see how it applies foundation and all that kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video all about budget beauty, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can also bookmark the page if you would like to. I also do a live stream on the first Sunday of the month at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you come hang out and all that kind of stuff. I can't wait to see you there. <coughs> so, if you've watched any part of my channels, then, or this channel, then you know that the Yeo, Yeo Twin Little Puff is like one of my favorite, it is my favorite way to apply foundation. So when I found the Real Techniques, it looked kind of similar, pretty dense and everything, so I'm like, okay, I love this thing so much. I bought a backup pack, that's how much I love it. But anyway, I really like Real Techniques. I don't like their orange sponge, but their brushes are pretty good, so... Anyway, but this, um, you can use it with cushion foundations, that's what it's meant for. And then the handles for um, added control and it's supposed to give you um, airbrushed coverage. So I'm excited. But anyway, replace every one to three months. Okay, let's try this. I haven't tried a cushion foundation yet. I'm excited to, but I am going to be using a... Well, I'm going to be using a a base that I like a lot and I know how it looks and everything, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty poofy and it is really dense, but I can totally see if you do use cushion foundation how that would just like go directly in there and apply it. But my skin is cleansed and moisturized, so let's go ahead and get started with this, but I do have a mirror today, look at that, but I'm just going to be using... Just the very, 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 very last of my CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. Like I said, I've been using this for years. I really, really like it. So, I know how it applies and I know what it looks like. So, let's try this. I don't know, I like, I'm having an allergic reaction to something. I don't know what it is, but... It's pretty dense, like, and not like dense, like the Yeo Twin Puffs. It's kind of hard. Coverage. I don't know, I feel like this absorbs a lot of product. I do like the handle though. Yeah, I mean it's just absorbed a ton of product. Usually I don't have to keep going in and keep going in with this. Like, usually I can build up the coverage pretty quickly with this stuff. So, this is kind of telling me that this is absorbing a lot of the foundation, which can be normal, I mean, with this type of thing. I mean, do you guys hear that? I don't know. I'm just not a sponge person and this does have just like the tiniest bit of like a spongy texture to it. And it definitely has like a velour covering, but I do feel like it, oh my gosh, uh, yeah, I am out of this stuff, okay. I do feel like it's got a sponge underneath the velour, if that makes sense. Yeah, I never have to go in with a second layer of this stuff. I 
I don't know. I mean, I do feel like that this did push the product into my pores more, so I do see the airbrushed quality. Um, instead of it just kind of laying on top of the skin, I actually pressed it into the skin, which did give it a really nice, even, um, like my skin texture doesn't look bad, if that makes sense. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think I like this. I'm, I'm just being honest. Um, I like the handle and like I said, I do like that it did kind of push it into my skin so like I have a lot of whiteheads on my chin I've got large pores um, I didn't use a I did not use a primer today so yeah I don't know the real techniques like the little airbrush cushion sponge I'm definitely gonna have to keep playing with it what I'm also kind of confused about too is how do you wash it you know what I mean I don't know it just seems kind of like it's gonna be kind of difficult but I mean, all in all, it doesn't look bad. I definitely did have to go in with more product than I usually would with this, but it's it doesn't look bad. It, I could have done my face faster and with less product with my regular little Yo Twin puff, but I mean, it doesn't look bad. I don't think it looks bad, but I don't know if I would like like say, hey, you absolutely need this product. Hey, it's like life changing. Um, I do think it's nice, like I said, with the handle, like for the third time is if you do use cushion foundation, you're not gonna be getting like your fingers directly near the compact. So I do think it could be cleaner that way, but I don't know, I'm definitely gonna have to keep playing with it. You'll probably be seeing it in like an updates video and stuff, but yeah, I mean, it was okay. It, it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't the most horrible thing I've ever used to apply foundation, but there's definitely tools out there that I very much prefer over this, but I do see how people would enjoy this. I do see how people would think that this was a cool product, so I'm kind of on the fence. I can't say it's a Monday must-have, but it's it's not horrible. So anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this confusing video as much as I did. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments, have you tried the little Real Techniques little air brush um, cushion foundation little tool? What did you think of it? I would love to know down below. And just so you know, I do have a Macari page where I sell discount makeup, beauty, skincare, hair care, all sorts of stuff. I also have a, another YouTube channel where I upload seven days a week all about budget food and I also have a little Facebook group where we kind of hang out and chat and stuff so those will be linked down below if you're interested to check them out feel free and of course you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media Twitter, Facebook, Instagram it's all about your glam babe don't go anywhere quite yet another video should start auto playing here very shortly or you can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.